Welcome to our quick start training how to use Ray International back office. Before we start and log into back office, I would just like to share with you these three buttons here. You can see become a distributor, become a customer or register for an event. Uh, the most important are the first two, become a distributor or become a customer. This is the point where you can uh, register your new RAIN partner as a distributor or new customer as become a customer. And when you click one of those ones, then you just follow uh, the procedure how to finish uh, the registration. So let's go and log in to our back office. You have to use your user ID and your password to log in to the back office. I have some special t uh, test account so I can show you everything in the back office. After login to back office, you see here's your main screen. Those tabs are the uh, tabs here are the most important. We have dashboard, my account, commissions, orders, organization, corporate, and events. So this is now the first screen. So first we will go down the first screen here if you click change picture you can put your uh, custom uh, photo in your back office then here you can change your language now this is the important thing you can see current period this is the period from 27th of april 2016 to 3rd of may 2016 so as you know we have weekly periods in our company and this is now the current period and this time left it's the time left for our commission period so fr from now till the end of the commission period which ends at 3rd of may it's two days and 10 hours and 26 minutes because sometimes people got confused and they ask me if this is the time left uh, for their new order. No, this is the time left for the commission period ends. That means whatever you do with your signups and with your points on your left and right side in these two days and 10 hours and 26 minutes, it will count for this commission period. Then the next thing, rank advancement. Here you can see which rank you are at the moment and how to progress further. In this de demo account, you can see that this person is not active because this person has personal qualification volume zero. That means it needs at least 50 points or one box order to be active. In that case, this person will go to associate. And then you can check all the rank advancement in the over compensation plan too. Then here's a group volume. Then we have lesser like volume. So if we have left side and right side, then one side it's lesser leg. We can see here that we have on left leg volume 100 points. In that case, our lesser leg volume, lesser leg side, it's right side. As we know, the first rank in the company it's called manager, and we have to reach 300 each side in one commission period. Then here is the next order. This is the date when your order it's due. That means if you signed up, let's say, 1st of May 2016, then your next order will be due on 1st of June 2016. So exactly 30 days after the first order has been placed. Then uh, those two buttons are not so important. Uh, then you have here all the total, total numbers in that amount in your organization. Then you can see total team count on your left side, total members on your right side, uh, your personally sponsored members on, the, on your left side and on your right side. And here is the, the last thing, which are the RPT points. We already heard about RAIN partner teams and uh, when you create one RAIN partner team, it will show you here 65 points, which, which you can use next month to deduct from your product order. Okay, now let's go through these steps. Under the dashboard, here we have document library. 
when we choose document library, we have many, many different materials, how to use uh, products, uh, about the products, about the testings, and so on and so on. So you just have to go through and uh, find what do, what do you just need for your business. Then, another important, important thing here is enroll new distributor. When we choose enroll distributor, we can enroll new partner already through our back office. Then we choose the country from where this person is coming and we choose the language and then we just continue to finish the registration. The same is with customers. We can enroll customer directly through our back office. Then if somebody would like to upgrade account, can also go here. Upgrade account and then we can upgrade, let's say, from basic to pro. Then the, the other thing is holding tank. In holding tank, we have all the persons which were registered under our sponsor ID and were not placed so far. Then you will see their username, their first name and their last name. And then here will be one icon when you can press it. And you can place this person whenever you want. The last thing which is important here is rain partner teams. Here you can check your potential rain partner teams and full rain partner teams. So when you choose, let's say April, then you can see how many direct partners are active this month in this account there, there are no active partners so let's say if we have three active frame partners th there will be three squares one two three with their names and then then you will see if they have anybody who is active in that uh, in that period so when they have two actives that means if we have one distributor, the second distributor, and both of them have two distributors who are active, this block will move to the to full rain partner teams. A little bit more about rain partner teams. Uh, I will explain in special video about rain partner teams. So this is everything that is important in a dashboard. If we go under my account, my account, we can set some things about uh, our general informations like we can edit our uh, email uh, and some different kinds of stuff like shipping address mailing address and here we also can uh, decide for our placement that means where we want to put new distributors which we personally sponsor if we go to edit you you probably remember that I mentioned already the holding tank before. So if you choose holding tank and save it, that means every person which will register under your sponsor ID will go to the holding tank, which I showed you before here under dashboard and holding tank. But if you choose bottom left, every person will fall on your left side in your organization. If you choose bottom right, the same thing on the right side of your organization. If you choose lesser lag, it will just fall in the lag where you have the last point uh, in the system. And then when you save it, it's just saved in that one. The another thing about under my account, it's very important. It's commission payout. When you go under commissions, commission payout, you just go under edit and then you put all the informations inside that uh, Rain International needs to pay you. So you have option direct deposit and then you put your bank name information inside, you put your SWIFT code from your bank then account number and you put also bank city or branch 
then you choose if this is checking or saving account and just save it. In that case, Rain can pay you commissions. If you don't do this, Rain cannot pay you commissions and will just hold your commissions in your back office. If we go under commissions, we can check all our commissions. So these are the weekly periods again. So you can see here one commission from 29th of December till the 4th of January. When we press the PDF, we can also see the subtract of the commission. So we see, okay, this person was paid first order bonus on the first level amount $80. So here you can see the subtract of the commission. Then the next thing, if you go under orders, you can see all your order history here and you can see also the invoice from the company to you then what is the important thing here still it's place order if somebody just wants to buy a box or two or three or anything else you can do it here somebody just wants to buy one additional box just go here just place quantity one just go next and just finish the process of ordering the box. Then the last step, which is uh, important, it's organization. If we go under organization tree view, then we can see our binary tree view. This is our position always on the top and then we have left side and right side. In that case, you can see there is nobody on the right side still, but there are some persons like demo accounts on the left side. Where you see this account, that means person is registered with three business centers. So, this is the position with one business center and this is the position with three business centers. What that means about business centers, I will also explain in different videos. This is just a quick step guide about back office. The next thing, what is very useful also, it's organization volume. You can choose the period of organization volume, let's say this period, let us see if there is something inside, no it's empty, but anyway, you have left leg volume and right leg volume, so you can see username of the person, name, their order ID and their CV points and order Date. This is very important and useful uh, tool after some time when you start building your organization. So, mostly that's it about uh, the back office. So I hope now you get a little bit more clue what uh, and how to use back office.